ready for the next battle. You know what? Before I get into this video, I'm just going to let you know that I am not surprised or shocked. I'm just fucking disappointed. Of all the things. Sorry about the squeaky chair, by the way. But of all the things, all right, to complain about when it comes to the Parents Television Council, you're going to complain about The Walking Dead. The fucking Walking Dead, who was starting its seventh season, and it started it with a fucking bang because it shows you some of the most brutally violent death scenes of two beloved characters that you're going to complain that this show is going too far and that there needs to be censorship. Where the fuck were you six years ago, all right? And not that I'm on grand that this show should be censored. This show is not a family show okay parents okay from the parents television cancel the PC TC whatever the hell you call yourselves you're gonna actually complain about the show and we're gonna go and I'm gonna say the most old school and the most logical answers to this why are you letting your kids watch this okay it comes on at nine o'clock Sunday night all right the night before the school week begins again all right, the night before the school week begins again, they asked us should be in bed. Number one, number two, um, why aren't you monitoring what your kids watching? If you such, if you so appalled by what's on TV today, all right. This show, and I love this show, good or bad, you know, it had its ups and downs, of course, but I love the show. But this show has so shown so much viscera throughout. It throughout this almost seven years has been running. All right, we have seen people entrails pulled out. We have seen people getting they get their faces bit off. We have seen people be shot and killed by other humans. All right, we have seen human violence. We have seen gore. We've seen it all on this show. All right, I mean for God's sakes, even the language is coarse. All right, this is not on regular broadcast TV. This is not a CW show. This wasn't no procedural cop drama show that was on NBC, like NBC wanted it to be. I'm glad they skipped making a deal with NBC, all right? And um, this is not broadcast TV. I'm going to reiterate that. This is not broadcast TV. This is on cable, AMC, okay, who... The only thing that really stops AMC is their language. They, they can put a parameter on the language. But they warn you enough times that this show has parental discretion advised. Uh, even when they show the marathons through the daytime or uh, when they were doing it. They do it every year to lead up to the next season premiere. Um, I don't know where you've been, Parents Television Council. I don't know where you've been. I don't know why you're so offended by the show. I don't know why you're letting kids watch the show. I don't know why you want to censor this show like this show is for kids. Stop making shit relevant and offensive to people that's not supposed to be watching the show, all right? This show is not for kids, all right? It never was for kids. If you as a parent out there want your kids to watch the show, go ahead. But you got to be there with them. Walk them through that. You got to watch it with them. Okay? You should know what your kid's watching. I mean, for God's sakes, we, they put chips in television and put parental locks on your cable service and on your television access for you parents to set up for your kids. Okay? Oh, I get it. You want to be the cool parent, all right? And let your kid fish on his own. And when your kid sees some shit he ain't supposed to see and say some things he ain't supposed to say, it's the television's fault. That's what the fuck it is. That's just what you want. All right, that's just what this is the problem with this country in the first place. All right, we always want somebody to do something for us that we should be doing on general. Okay, all right, it, it's plain and simple. You know, um, I get it. I get it. You want you want people to either love you for the way you are, even though you are fucking 
a jerk or you whatever. I get the example. People want instant gratification and people want television to be the sole education of educator of their children when they're not around. All right. It's school and then it's television and the games. All right. This is not this show is not going to accommodate your asses. OK, this show has been a cash cow for AMC for years. OK, and it gets better. And um, even through the ups and downs and, and fans are like I'm not watching the show no more. And then fans are coming back to the show. People hate Jeffrey Dean Morgan. They hate his ass because he has played Negan so well in two episodes. The season finale and then to see what he did in the season premiere. Alright. Even those who read the comic book was not prepared for what how it went down. To actually see it in graphic sound and color. Okay. I mean... I, you know, a little secret, I've actually known this was going to happen. Everybody, every hardcore Walking Dead fan guessed that these two was going to be killed and they were going to be done. It was going to be done in a very brutal fact. Greg Nicotero have been telling people that it's going to be very, very graphic and every all the cast members were like, it's going to be a sad moment. And hell, let's get into the critics. Let's get to the critics that even complained about this show. I mean, they said they gave it a bad... They gave the episode a bad rating because they were so heartbroken by the cast members. Now, usually bad ratings are... Means it, it's terrible. In this case, they hated losing two cast members and the fashion that they did so much that they couldn't rate the show properly. That doesn't happen often in television. That doesn't happen often in general that... A bad can mean good. That means they have done their job setting up Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who you see right here. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, all right, has done a great job with it. And he's only been two episodes into the whole series. And people hate him like that already. That's a good job right there. And people, and then people call, call comic book fans love him because they know what's coming. So if you want to be prepared for this, and know the violence that's coming, all right? PTC, why don't you pick up a fucking Walking Dead comic book and see what the show's about, all right? And that it's not pulling its punches, all right? Um, it used to pull its punches. Now, they have creative freedom. And you're attacking AMC's creative freedom because you feel, you feel offended that this show did something that your kids should not have seen when you should have stopped your kids from seeing this. All right, but no, your kids talk about Family Guy all the time, all the jokes, all the dirty humor, and everything. Your kids watch Game of Thrones where it's nothing but tits and fucking because you're not paying attention. Your kids probably was watching True Blood too, where it was nothing but sex on that damn show. All right, oh, you think oh, it's because it's vampires and, and werewolves and stuff. What do you think? It's like Twilight? Wake the fuck up, leave Walking Dead alone. Leave this show alone. This show's been doing this shit for almost seven years. And you want to complain about it because um, one of your children, parent, one of you parents out there in the PTC, your children showed you this show. Okay? Now you want to go and fucking rally up the troops like you Spartacus? Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. Anyway, I'm done talking about this. Alright? PTC, kiss my fucking ass. Alright? And you're going to censor that too? fuck out of here with that because i'm fury i'm out remember keep watching what you want no matter how bloody and violent it is keep gaming the way you want and keep being you all right so peace out see you later